Okay, I ran a little bit over. We are going to, um, let's see where we were right quick. We already made the variable for blue score, um, made the user blue, made the controls for the user. Now we need to add a place for all the, all the racers. That's where we're at. So we're gonna go to black, and we're gonna take this off and set it to the side. And we're going to take the third place down here and set it off, take it off. And we're going to grab another if-else statement. And we're going to set it in here and grab this count equals, duplicate it, put it back there, put this one down here, and we're going to change this to three. So now we've got first, second, and third. If it doesn't, if count doesn't say one, two, or three, then it's going to be fourth place. So we're going to put this in the fourth place slot, and we need to we need to say looks say fourth. Um, we need a change, go grab a variable, and change, we're on change, we're on black, so this should be black score, black score, Black score, black score, and black score. And right here, we're gonna take this red, we're gonna take this blue one, pull it down here, and see what the location of it is. Let's go, let's go take the black one. Take the black one, put it down here, see what the location of it is. And this is where we're gonna put our fourth place finisher down here. So the look, go to control and motion and glide to, you notice the numbers are the same, 26, negative 148. We're gonna put that right there. And now we got first, second, third, or fourth. And one, this should be two points. This should be three points. And that should be four. That's the points we're going to award. Now, instead of uh, doing it all four of them, we're just going to take this and paste it to all four of them. And on the last one, we're going to take the if-else. Basically, we won't have anything, any controls over there. So let's go to the red one. And scroll down. Grab this. Up, take this right underneath the, from underneath the count and slide it over where it says change count. And this is our red one. We're going to make this our red score. Red score. Red score. Red score. Red score. And as you can see, all of our numbers are correct and all of our placements are correct. As far as where we go after we where we go if we come in first, second, third, or fourth. So let's go to yellow and do the same thing. Oh, yellow, we got something up here we gotta worry about a little later. Just a second. We'll do this first. Take this off, scroll down, grab this and pull it up. So we know we have since this is yellow, we're going to change this to yellow score, yellow score, yellow score, and yellow score. Now, this up here was used to reset our
codes, but there's no blue. So we're going to go ahead and grab that variable real quick. Uh, what is it? It's set variable. Let's go blue score. Set blue score to zero. So we have that done. Now let's go to blue. Okay. So when we click the green flag, blue goes to the start position up here. It waits one second, and then we have control over our items. Now we need this in order for the scoring. But there may be a slight problem, and let me see if y'all can figure out where it is. Let's grab a green flag, put this here, and let's test it out, see what we got. You notice it automatically says fourth and goes to the end, but we didn't do anything. The reason for that is this if statement. For some reason, this if statement is messing stuff up to where, because we wanted to look for that if right then. On all the other ones, if you notice, something happens before, him, before then. It says, goes to the spot, waits one second, and it glides to all in different spaces. And then, after it glides to the, all, of, all the positions, then it goes to the if statement and looks for it. So that's our problem right there. So we are going to go back to the blue one, and we're going to take that if statement off. And if you remember when I was doing the, one of the briefings, we said to use a wait until. And a wait until is wait for something to happen one time and one time only, and it works. So we're gonna take that wait until, move that if, I'm gonna put this right here, and now let's hit the green flag. Oh, now I can race. I came in second. And let's see if it goes to correct position, and went to correct position. And we need to put a four down here, but we gotta do one more thing first. Um, let's hit the green flag again. If you notice, there's a glitch. I can cheat. I can cut through the infield. Oh, I can't cut through the infield. We'll fix that. I can just cut right there. I come in first place. But I really didn't cut in come in first place because I didn't run no race. So let's kind of fix that right there. Let's grab another wait until and put it right here. And let's grab a checkpoint. Let's make us a checkpoint and put a checkpoint right here. So now the blue one has to pass the checkpoint prior to going past the finish line. That way it can't cheat. So let's make us a checkpoint, light blue. Let's make it a different color right here. Okay, and we're going to place it right here. And we're going to call this checkpoint. So now, go back to the blue one and go to sensing once more. If touching Check, wait until testing checkpoint, then finish, then it goes through all the information for the count. Then I'll just check it. So now if it takes off, I get nothing. So I have to go around, have to go down, go through the checkpoint, and then come up, and you see I got third that time. Now it goes to third place. So now we know that we fixed that, error, that uh, glitch right there. Now let's go ahead and put the four in. Uh, number four, okay, take that four, pull it down here, fourth place, let's go to the number two, grab this information and take it to the four, drop it off, so now if I hit it, everything's hidden, hidden, I race, Oh, can't go through there. 
came in third. It goes to the third spot. Everything works. That, ladies and gentlemen, is dot race three.